Okay. Can I say this about the Nintendo World Championships last year? That was one of the best experiences of my life, and I'm extremely proud of how amazingly well I did throughout the entire thing. There were obviously ups and downs though, like Mario Kart, where I, I sucked ass at Mario Kart. <laughs> and the famous final level where I couldn't wall jump. But overall, I am extremely happy with how I did, and it could have gone so much worse. And like, I fought my way, my way through the entire thing, and it was amazing. And I'm extremely proud, and it's one of the great victories like is such a good experience in my life and like people like are disparaging towards me because of it and it's so fucked up to me I don't understand <laughs> see maybe if I can draw all the 4chan kids into my chat and then I can set them straight and tell them what's going on and they can change their fucking memes <laughs> get the story right instead of just like spreading garbage I should have won that no way I should not have won the last round Mario Maker no way <laughs> okay so new Super Mario Bros I like never played that really I think I played the original DS one, like when it, or I think it was DS, right? Yeah, the original DS one. I think I played it when it came out, but, um, yeah, I had no chance of winning that last round, regardless of, like, anything. Like, I just was not, um, I didn't have the, the knowledge about the game engine. I was not familiar with it. There was, like, no chance of me winning it. So, I don't feel bad about it at all. What I feel amazing about is how well I did, like... Okay, consider this. I had to buy... Spl okay, I bought Splatoon right before the NWC, and I, like, learned how to play Splatoon right before I went, and my team in Splatoon barely won, and it's because I fuck it. Like, if I didn't buy the game and play it a bunch, we would have lost. So, like, I had a real contribution to our team winning the first round Splatoon. This, then the first loser's bracket round in the underground was the fucking uh, Legend of Zelda race, which has RNG in it with the bomb. And like, it was such like a volatile, crazy thing, and like only one player gets passed. So I avoided that shit. I avoided it, and it's because I fucking trained up on Splatoon to get through. So I'm extremely proud of that, right? And then, um, after that, what was it that, um... That sort of like Metroid um, game. I forgot what it's even called. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. But I just played, um, it was like me, Trihex, and Bananas, and like such good teammates to have. I just uh, stayed in the back and I played defense, and we just like, I think it was like a 3 0. We just totally bopped the other team. It was really good. And then. There was the other losers bracket around Super Metroid, and to be honest with you, I would have lost if I had to play Super Metroid. So because, oh, I think it was called Blast Ball. Because I did so good at Blast Ball, our team, because our team fucking owned Blast Ball, I avoided that too, and I didn't have to do Super Metroid. So then after that was Mario Kart, and I fucking sucked ass at Mario Kart, because I never really played Mario Kart 8, and it was 200cc, and I just got, I got totally wrecked. So I had to go to the loser's bracket, I had to go to the underground, okay? And so, boom, it's me against five other people, okay? It's like me versus five other people, and only one advances. And it was Balloon Fight, and guess what? I had played Balloon Fight because in the GameCube Animal Crossing, they have the NES games, and I played Balloon Fight. And so I knew how to play it, and I was like, I can win this, I can do this. And at the beginning, I was kind of sucking, and then uh, Ego Raptor did really well. And then I stepped up my game at the last second and just like had this really long run before the time ran out. And I actually made it through to the next round, and I beat five other people, 
And then the next round was Smash, and guess what? We couldn't set custom controls for Smash, so we had to play the default controls. And you know what I did? Instead of picking my main, I picked fucking Roy, who came out that very day. I had never played Roy before in my life. And I picked Roy on stage. I was having such a good time. I just fucking picked Roy, and I was like, let's go, motherfuckers. And I fucking made it through with Roy and got to the final round, Mario Maker, and got all the way to the end. So, like, then Miyamoto comes out. I get my fucking signed Miyamoto 3DS. It was a fucking dream come true, and everyone just is such a disparaging piece of shit towards me for it. So fuck you assholes who just spread this bullshit. Like, fuck you.